Is liberty dying where you live? Escape to Keene at freekeen.com. Hey guys, I'm in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. I'm sitting in the back of an Uber car with Chris David, who's the owner, who apparently has got himself in a little trouble because he wants to start his own business and uh, try to make money, the American dream, try to get ahead. This is what happened to him. This is a copy of the local newspaper. He was arrested, and I thought we'd ask him a few questions before he takes me over to my speech tonight. Chris, glad to meet you. Senator, thank you. Well, uh, why did you want to be an Uber driver? Um, supplement my part-time web development income. I've got a baby on the way due actually any day now, so uh, every little bit helps. So you got started, and what did Portsmouth City have to say about you driving Uber here? They um, Two months ago, a uh, law went into effect making Uber illegal. They want Uber to come through the city and kind of jump through a bunch of bureaucratic hoops in order to be legal here. Uh, Uber has requested these changes to the ordinance, and they have just not budged at all on it. Are some of the changes, do they want licensure fees? Do they want you to pay money to, to drive? What do they yeah, want? Yeah, they want um, the background check process and um, commercial insurance to be all signed off by the local police department, which Uber can't really do because that potentially jeopardizes the driver identity. Plus, you know, if you're tailoring your process to one municipality of 20,000 people and the 10 other municipalities around here pass different variations of that, Uber just can't justify the legal cost. They will pull out at that point. One of the things I've noticed about riding Uber in D.C. is it's made the cabs better. They're cleaner now. They're more competitive because they know they're having to compete with somebody. But the whole idea that one group of people would be like a guild and they would get together and exclude competition, it's never been a, a very good idea. So what happened? You were at a restaurant recently and uh, you had a, a discussion with the bouncer. Yeah, just down here, actually. I was picking up a customer outside of the Daniel Street Tavern. And um, I was waiting for him outside, and this bouncer came up and said that, hey, this is illegal here. Um, so <clears throat> I record things on my car in case that I need to, like, unincriminate myself because you never know what people are doing in the back seat of the car or whatever. And um, I recorded um, him and then also this um, police driver who came, a police cop, cop car came up because the bouncer flagged him over. He said, hey, there's an Uber here. So a cop car told me that I can't do what I'm doing, gave me a verbal warning not to do it. Uh, anymore, and he drove off eventually. And then a, a taxi did, came up and tried to block me in. So. Did the bouncer have something to do with cab companies? He wasn't related He's to... a part-time taxi driver, <laughs> interestingly. <laughs> so. A little bit of self-interest yes. in that. Yeah. So, uh, well, we wish you the best of luck. We appreciate you coming to pick me up, and you're actually going to take me to... We're having a town hall in Portsmouth tonight, and we wish you the best of luck, and if there's any way we can help you to try to keep the state from oppressing you and keep the state out of your business so you can get ahead and provide for your family, We'd like to help. Thank you very much. Thanks, Chris. We'd like to invite you to visit freekeen.com. Freekeen.com features audio, video, and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society. Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard. Freekeen.com. I should be in Keene, New Hampshire with the Free Staters. <laughs>